So today is the official release of Gabby Hanna's new book, Dandelion. Why did I say it like that? Like literally, who speaks like that? Dandelion. Like literally, I am so annoying, I am so sorry. And it is 1.30pm and my package is about to come in very soon, which I am very excited about because I've been waiting a long time for this. So let's just go downstairs and wait for the package. Hey Daisy, what's up? Leave me the fuck alone, bitch! I'm sleepy! I love it. Now please enjoy a 30 second montage of me waiting for the book. Twenty minutes later. We got the package. <laughs> so it's been like 30 minutes and the package has finally arrived. And now let's open it for the first time on camera. Me and you. Doing this together. Just <laughs> a little tricky to open, not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And here we are, Dandelion by Gabby Hanna. Wait, how long is this book? Oh my gosh. 244 pages long. This is gonna be an experience, not gonna lie. I literally never read books, let alone poetry books. So having you read 244 poems, it's definitely gonna be a challenge for me. So yes, I'm going to read this whole 244 page poetry book today. So tomorrow I can give you guys a full in-depth review of this whole book, I guess. The design looks very similar to her first book, but it also looks like it's very different because Oh my gosh. A very interesting page to flick on, I'm not gonna lie. I can already tell from looking at the book that she's putting a lot more effort into this one. The designs are so much better, it's longer, you know, it definitely looks a lot better, so I'm gonna read this whole thing today, and so yeah, I will see you guys then. <laughs> this coffee is gonna give me such bad diarrhea. <laughs> Hello everyone and good morning. So I have now read this whole 244 page long book. <laughs> I'm in And before I start to review this book fully, I'd like to give a couple disclaimers. Number one, what I'm about to say is just my opinion on this book. If you like this book entirely, or hate it entirely, or liked and hated certain parts like I do, um, that is completely up to you. I know Gabby worked really hard on this book and I don't want to exactly like slander here. And also the second disclaimer I want to make is that I do like Gabby. And I really do appreciate and have so much respect for how much work she puts into his stuff. For example, her music, her poetry, I have a lot of respect. But that doesn't mean I'm always going to like it, if that makes sense. But today, I do want to give you an honest rundown from an unbiased perspective, because I really wanted to take myself away from the book as, like, someone who doesn't even know who Gabby is. And can I just look at it from an unbiased standpoint? So here's everything you need to know about Gabby Hanna's new book. And we're going to start off with part one, The Good. <laughs> Now I want to get into some of my favorite poems in this book. The first poem in this book that I really liked wasn't actually more so about the poetry but the message of the book. Not the book, the poem. <laughs> it's called Health and I'll just uh, read it right now, obviously. Maybe you can't stop world hunger. Maybe you can't stop senseless violence. But you can't stop loneliness. Maybe you can't offer food and water. Maybe you can't offer resolutions. But you can offer time. Maybe you can't change the past. Maybe you can't change the world. But you can change. You can keep your fake care. You can keep your thoughts and prayers. But you can give someone your heart. Maybe you can't be a hero, maybe you can't be a saviour, but you can be a friend. And honestly, that's one of the poems in the book that I did actually really like. I think it's just a really good message that, like, you may not be able to make that big of an impact at first, but if you can make an impact in one person's life, then that is everything, I guess. So if you do ever want to go out and buy Dandelion, that's one of the poems that I think is really, like, good. The second poem that I really liked in this book is called Distance. And it basically says, little by little, pebble by pebble, speck by speck of dust. The mountains eroded, leaving a canyon between the two of us. The whispers were bellowed, resentments were echoed, across the cleft so grand, all you needed to close the gap was to reach out for my hand. And I feel like this honestly goes back to health as well. The poems that I really liked the most in this book were the ones that connected to the audience to be like, to just spread a good message of like, you can make an impact in one person's life by just being there. And to the audience that understood like the purpose of that poem, I think that's a really cool concept. And yeah, I really like that. And now what 99% of the people who are watching this video have been waiting for, Here's part two, the bad.
I feel like most of the time with Gabby's poetry, I'm just very confused. It's not even necessarily bad, it's just confusing. And I think the reason it's confusing is because either it's something you do with her, and something that she's experienced in her life that no one else understands. For example, let me read out some of my least favorite poems in this book. The first poem that I really did not like uh, was called Dogs. It says, running in circles, who's chasing who? That's the entire poem. So not gonna lie, I wasn't a fan of that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one of my least favorite poems in this book is called Community. It's basically just one bubble saying, I'm depressed. And another bubble on the other page saying, we all are. That's it. I'm depressed. We all are. <laughs> that is... <laughs> my least favorite poem in this book is actually very long. And it is called Lunch. <sighs> and if you want to know what this poem's about, it's basically about Gabby being on a date and her witnessing a beetle get killed by a bird. That's it. Just sat and watched as this bird ripped this beetle apart and completely ate its insides and left just the shell of this beetle. And I was like, oh, it's a metaphor. Girl, what the fuck is he talking about? The poem goes, we sat together and ate our pizza as if everything was okay. We watched together as a bird hopped along with a beetle at its prey. We stared together as the violent bird ripped the beetle to shreds, his ferocious beak tearing away at the beetle's oozing head. This isn't Dr. Seuss, Gabby. This is, you're talking about a beetle getting murdered. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I feel like I have been way too harsh on this book, but this poem was definitely worth the criticism, I'm not gonna lie. We gawked together as the beetle tried to free herself from his beak. A fight to be free, the outcome bleak. This is disgusting. The empty shell of the beetle fell. The beard hopped away and phased. We sat together and ate our pizza as if everything was okay. And that's where we end this video. Honestly, I feel like I did read the best and worst poems out in this video, so um... Thank you for watching. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all next week with another new video. Peace out, guys. <laughs>